In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect your religion or your faith to help you perform better in your sport. Julie was 16 when she came to me devastated that she didn't make the varsity soccer team. The varsity coach had seen her play the year before and even complimented her on her excellent defense at the end of the last game of the season as she came off the field. She had worked on her game over the summer and thought she was a shoe in this year, but it didn't happen. And she totally felt her confidence drain away as she looked up at that bulletin board posting of the current team lineup this year. And to make things worse, three of her good friends did make the varsity team and she felt totally left behind. Now, working with her in my office, as I do with all my athletes, I asked her if she has any spiritual or religious beliefs. And she says, oh yes, I'm a Christian. And I ask her, on a scale of 1 to 10, how strong her beliefs are about a religion? And she says, 9. Now, this is music to my ears because I knew we were going to be able to take that strong belief, faith, and build up her confidence with it rather easily compared to some folks who have no religious beliefs. Now, having learned a few things from some Christian sports coaches I'm friends with, I continue the questioning with, so what do you think is God's main purpose for you being here on this planet? And she answered, to spread God's word and follow Jesus' teaching. Now, I typically get a little lightheartedly sarcastic at this point in sessions in order to tear apart all that destructive beliefs that are causing the problem. And so I said, you mean you're not here on the planet to be the greatest female soccer player that ever lived? As I flashed her a big grin, so she knew I was totally kidding. And by the way, are you noticing how this conversation will be almost the same no matter what religion or sport we're coaching? All right, continuing on. After a few more jokes about this, we got to the point I want to make when I asked her, so how can you not making the varsity team here be a great thing? that contributes to God's purpose for you. Why is that a good thing? In other words, how does this work for God's plan for you? Or how could it? She was kind of stunned as those ideas, they hadn't been connected in her mind until now. And she said, I don't know. Then I asked, well, what do you think you can learn and gain from this experience? Imagine it's a year from now and you're looking back on today. How can you be wiser tougher, more resilient, and confident than you are today because of it. And this is where the conversation gets fun for me because her wheels started turning in her head. Well, I can vow to myself to work harder on my game than I ever have and, and finish the season getting the best defense award on the team I did make, the JV team. That would build my confidence. Yes. And what else, I said. Well, uh, I could just think of soccer as something that's fun and focus more on my school, my Christian leadership activities. Excellent, I said. And how could either of those possible scenarios help you to live God's purpose? Well, if I come back strong in soccer, maybe I could learn what it takes to overcome difficult stuff in our lives through God's power and teach it to others now and in my future. Yeah. And if I go the other way, well, that's obvious since I'll be spending more time and energy directly in my Christian program, meaning if she doesn't continue with soccer. Hmm. I said, what if it could turn out that you not making varsity was a huge turning point in your life and it brought you here to learn mental toughness skills so you become a ton more confident, not only in your sports, but in your life. And I asked her, is it easy being a Christian? No, she replied very strongly. I'm always being teased about being a goody two-shoes or a Jesus freak, and sometimes I feel bad about that. I said, would having a confident mindset help you withstand that kind of teasing so that you can continue God's purpose for you? Yes, she said. Well then, let's get to work. Thank God you didn't make the varsity team. And she totally shifted, started herself on a powerful journey right there in my office. You can see her change in her body posture and the way she talked. And I've had tons more similar stories of religion and sports and how they can complement each other like this. My good friend and Christian basketball coach Wayne Mendezona said they definitely go together. 
athletes can tap into that biblical strength and energy that God has provided for you as a Christian, he said. And I got a program coming out by him for Christians, right? Um, what you want to do is make sure and go to mentaltoughnesstrainer.com and get on the notification list, or any of my email lists. The key here, though, is to relate what is happening to you and your sport to a higher purpose. That's what faith and religion is all about. And that's how coaches could tap into that power for better performance. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal. Go to mentaltoughnesstrainer.com and get on my email list so you learn all about this and everything about better performance. I got some freebies over there too.